Just as a force of habit, in my footer, I put uh, a paragraph element, and I put this site was created for educational use online. I meant only. There we go. Let me correct that. But um, there's actually a better tag I could use for this kind of stuff than the paragraph tag. And that's the HTML5 small tag, uh, small element. Now, uh, small it has been an element that it's been around in HTML4, although it was depreciated in HTML4 because uh, back in the older version of HTML, small was defined as a way to make text size smaller. So just inherently, the, the definition of small um, was non-semantic and it was stylistic, and that's why it got depreciated. Well, HTML5 reintroduced it by uh, redefining what the semantic meaning of small is going to be. And uh, in the W3C specification, it says the small element represents so-called small print, such as legal disclaimers and caveats. Um, well, look at this my little phrase down here, my sentence represents just that, a little legal disclaimer. It, this site was created for educational use only. Hey, I don't own the content. I'm not saying I do. Legal disclaimer. So with that said, um, instead of having it to be, uh, instead of having it paragraph text, I'm just going to update it to small. Um, and what's going to happen when I actually save this and render it in, uh, in my browser is that the text is going to be smaller. Now, I may not want that, but that doesn't matter. That's just a default style. What I could do is just uh, redefine the size and look of small uh, specifically in my CSS. And the benefit is that now my HTML has a little bit more semantic meaning. So 